Hey, this is Dave from Unipro, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the very best tools you can use to create and sell your online courses or coaching programs. And the key to this video is really selling your programs. Anyone could go and create a course or create a program, but getting people to buy your program, that's the key. And the tools I'm gonna show you in this video, they're gonna help you sell lots of your courses or your programs. So let's dive in. I personally sell millions of dollars of online courses and coaching programs, and I wanna show you the tools that I use to do that. Here again, I need to emphasize this really is selling. Yes, we're gonna look at the tools you can use to create your coaching programs or create your online courses, but selling is key. You need to be warming up your audience right now. Even if you haven't created your course yet or your program yet, you need to be building an audience, warming up your audience and preparing them to buy so that when you're ready to launch, you've got your first customers waiting to make that purchase. Now, the tools that I'm gonna share with you in this video, they're gonna take you through four phases. And the first phase phase is building your audience. Second is nurturing your audience, preparing them to buy. Third is actually selling your course or your program. What tools do you need to do that? And then fourth is delivery. How do you actually deliver the program? How do you deliver your course? I'm going to show you everything I use to go through those four different phases. And none of the tools that I'm sharing are affiliate links. I'm not getting paid to share any of these with you. I'm simply showing you the process that I use, like I said, to sell millions of dollars of courses and online programs. It works really well for me and I hope this helps you grow your online business as well. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first set of tools that we're going to look at, as I mentioned, is building up your audience. How do you grow your audience? And the first tool, if we can call it that, that I use to grow an audience is Facebook. And sometimes people will joke and say, Facebook is so outdated. How can you still use it? The reality is Facebook still has by far the biggest number of leads compared to any social media platform. I'll show you the most recent stats here. You can see this graph here. It depicts the most number of active users across all the major social media platforms. And Facebook is clearly the winner. It's got over 3 billion active users. So that's one reason why I recommend using Facebook to grow your audience. But the second is the fact that these users aren't just people who are hanging out on social media, they are buyers. In fact, new research showed that 49% of Facebook users go to the platform to get information about purchase decisions. So they're actively going on Facebook knowing that they want to buy. That's exactly the type of audience that I want and it's likely the type of audience you want as well. So if you're going to be using Facebook as a tool to build your audience, what do you need to know? Well, a couple things. First off, the best place to grow your audience is right here on your personal profile. And you can see I'm over on my personal profile and when I scroll down here, here, you can see that I've got almost 5,000 friends. This is the number one place that you need to be building your audience is your friends list. And that's because when you create content talking about the course or the program that you're going to be selling, these are the people who are going to see it first. Facebook has to show your content to your friends. The second great place that you can build an audience is up here. It's in your list of followers. These are people who you're not actually friends with, but they've chosen to tell Facebook, I want to follow you. I want to see your content. So when you post about your course or your program, these followers are also very likely to see those pieces of content and are more likely to become purchasers. Now, the third place that you need to be building your audience on Facebook is over in your Facebook group. And you can see here, this is one of my Facebook groups and you can see there's about 15,000 members in this particular group. The awesome thing about groups is there's no cap to how many members you can have in a group. While you are restricted to just 5,000 friends on your personal profile friends list, a group can have unlimited group members. So you can be building up your group members as part of your audience and then in the next phase we're going to look at tools that you can use to nurture that audience to prepare them to buy. So Facebook is the tool that I'm using to build a big audience. Now I'm going to show you the tool that I use to actually do that, to plug into Facebook, to find those leads and to bring them over into my audience. And that tool, it's something called Unipro. Unipro is my own software and it does exactly what we're talking about. It brings leads over into your personal audience as your friends or your followers. And it also fills up your Facebook groups with your ideal leads. Now, in terms of cost, obviously using Facebook is free. Using Unipro, it is a paid for tool and you can see you can use it for for as little as $142 a month. And that allows you to get usually between 1,000 to 1,500 leads on a monthly basis. Now, in terms of this first phase, building up your audience, there is another tool that I use and I'm gonna actually go back to my Facebook group here to show you how this tool works. So over in my Facebook group, you probably know if you run a Facebook group that you have something, an option called membership questions. And basically this allows you to ask a series of up to three questions to people who request to join your group. And you can see my questions right here. The third question, this is the important one that I wanna talk about right now. You'll notice it says required, question three out of three. It says, what is your best email address where we can connect you with our private trainings, tools, and resources? So what this does is this prompts people when they request to join your Facebook group to provide their email address to you. Now the tool that I showed you a minute ago, Unipro, 
it connects with your Facebook group. It'll take these email addresses from new members in your audience, people who are joining your group, and it can put those email addresses somewhere, somewhere where you can build up your audience of email subscribers. And I'm gonna show you the tool right now that I use to collect those email addresses. So over here, this tool is called Go High Level. And Go High Level, it does many things as we go through the other phases of building your courses and selling your courses and online coaching programs. But one of the things that Go High Level does very well is it collects all of your leads. So you can see here, I've got a list of all of my leads. These are my email subscribers. And this is gonna allow you to nurture your leads by sending them emails and updates and getting them excited to buy your course or your coaching program. So Go High Level allows you to store email addresses where you can follow up with email marketing campaigns. And Go High Level, it's not a free tool. I'll show you the pricing on it here. So the pricing ranges depending on what features you want available, somewhere between $97 a month all the way up to almost $500 a month. But there is something really cool for anyone who's using Unipro to grow your audience and to get leads on Facebook. You'll notice one of the bonuses is is right here it says you get a go high level account for free it's actually included with unipro as well as the support you need to use go high level very well so if you want to use unipro to get leads on facebook and then you want to use go high level to do your email marketing you can actually avoid this cost by getting access to both softwares when you join Unipro. And that's it. In terms of phase number one, building an audience, I use Facebook, my personal profile and Facebook groups. I use Unipro to bring the appropriate leads into my personal profile and into my Facebook groups. And then I use Go High Level. As I extract email addresses from new leads, those email addresses go into Go High Level so that I can follow up with marketing campaigns. That's really all you need to build your audience. And as I mentioned, following these steps, using these tools, you can expect to get somewhere between 1,000, 1,500, maybe up to 2,000 leads per month which for most online business owners, most course creators or coaches, that's a ton of leads. But this takes us to the second phase, the second step, and that is nurturing these leads. How do you get these leads who initially don't know anything about you, they don't know about your course, they don't know about your program, how do you get them excited to buy? Well, the first tool that I use is Meta AI, and I use Meta AI for content creation ideas. And this is really important. I do not encourage anyone to use AI to write content for you. It makes your content sound very generic. It removes any personalization or any sort of genuine feel about your content. You want your content to feel unique so that your new leads they see something different about you. They can resonate with your message. They can feel connected to you. However, having said that, AI can be amazing for creating content ideas. I'm gonna show you an example here. I'm over at meta.ai, and this is free to use. And I'm gonna go down here where it says, ask meta anything. And I'm gonna put in this prompt here. It says, what health topics are trending for men? And then I'm gonna give meta AI some context. So I'm gonna say context, I'm looking for content ideas. So this example would be if I were an online fitness coach as an example. And then I'm gonna send it over to Meta. I'm gonna give that prompt to Meta AI and it's gonna start coming up with content ideas for me based on what health topics are trending for men. And these are all trending topics. So I can be confident that if I create content around some of these topics, men are gonna be interested. Men are more likely to engage, which means that my content's gonna get seen by more people. And maybe this was enough. Maybe this gave you some great ideas for your upcoming content, or perhaps you wanna refine these ideas a little bit more. So I'll show you a secondary, a follow-up prompt that you might wanna use in this case. So I just got some trending topics about health or fitness for men, but let's say I wanna fine tune these. Let's say I'm a weight loss coach. And so I said, can you make these more specific to weight management? And again, I'll enter that prompt into Meta AI. Now Meta AI is gonna take these ideas. It's gonna refine those so that I'm gonna get some more content ideas that are specific to the type of course or the type of coaching program that I actually have to sell. And you can repeat this process over and over again, refining these topic ideas until you get some ideas that would really hit home with your ideal leads. What I do next, once I get those ideas, those content ideas that I really like and that I feel will resonate with my audience, is I go over here and I copy these ideas. And by the way, this again is all free. Meta AI is completely free to use. You can refine your search as many times as you like. What I'm gonna do is I've copied those and I like to save my content ideas in Google Keep. This is the next tool that I use, Google Keep. And again, it's completely free to use. So what I'm gonna do is I've created all these different labels over here. I'm gonna go to my business label and I'm gonna create a new note here. So I'm gonna say this is men weight loss content ideas. And then I'm just gonna paste those ideas that I got from Meta AI right in here. And I like to color code these. I'm gonna color code this and then I'm gonna close. So now I've got a bunch of content ideas sitting right here. Well, what do I do with those content ideas? We used Meta AI to generate some ideas. We use Google Keep to save the best ideas. 
how do these actually turn into pieces of content? Well, here's the next step, the next tool that I use. I'm gonna go back over to Unipro. And inside Unipro, one of the tools is a content calendar. And this is very, very helpful. I'll just scroll down here so you can see my content calendar. You can see that on each given day, I might have one or two or three pieces of content. And these could be pieces of content that I post on my personal profile. It could be content going into my Facebook group. It could be going to my email list. Any content that I'm using to nurture my leads is stored here inside this tool, this content calendar. Let me show you an example here. So I'm gonna open up this particular post, this piece of content. And this was a post that was going on my personal profile. I know that because of this letter P here. This is a code I use to tell myself that this piece of content is going on my profile. And you can imagine after you've taken those ideas from Meta AI, when it comes time for you to actually create your content or write out your content, you can simply go over to Google Keep. You don't have to keep going back to Meta AI. You've got all your ideas stored here. And then you just look for one that resonates with you, that maybe sparks an idea and allows you to create a piece of content. So I would take one of these ideas. Let's say that I wanted to talk about belly fat loss. Then I'd go over to my content calendar and I'd write that post. So I like to do this ahead of time. I usually do batches of content writing for the entire month. So I take those ideas that I had in Google Keep, those good ideas, and then I go batch write these posts that I know I'm gonna be posting over the upcoming month and I save them in my content calendar inside Unipro. So in this example here, this is actually talking about why not to use AI to write your content for you. And so you can see I've written this post here and then I've also saved an image. So when I'm ready to actually post this piece of content according to my calendar, I'm gonna go and just simply click on copy to clipboard. And now that's copied, I'll open up Facebook and then I'll just create a new post. What's on my mind? I'll go ahead and post that. Notice all the formatting and everything that I created inside of the Unipro content calendar, all that's held right here. And then I'll go back and I've already got my image prepared. We're gonna talk about where this image came from in just a second. I'm gonna copy that image. I'll go back over my new post. I'll paste that image and there's the image. Now this post is ready to go and I can simply click on next and post that to my personal profile. Pretty cool, right? We use Meta AI to generate content ideas. We refine those ideas and save the best ideas in Google Keep. Then those ideas were translated into a content calendar inside a Unipro so that all your content is ready to go. You simply copy and paste on the day you wanna post that piece of content. And the neat thing is, as you do this over and over again, Guess who's seeing that content? Well, it's those leads that we brought over to your Facebook profile or inside your Facebook group or into your email list. All this content is being pushed in front of them, nurturing those leads, preparing them to buy your course or your coaching program. But we're not done with nurturing your leads just yet. You might be wondering, where did I come up with this image? How did I design this image? And there's a really neat tool that I like to use. The tool is called Awesome Screenshot. And you can see the pricing here. There's three different levels. I personally am just using the free level. And I'll show you what it can do when it comes to creating content to nurture your audience. So let me show you an example over here. So I've got this post here from one of our Unipro clients and she says, just had a great month, over 9,000 members of my Facebook group and made a million dollars in sales. So this is an exciting post. You can see this image here of this client's group growth. So their Facebook group is clearly growing by using Unipro. The fact that they made a million dollars in sales, obviously this is a great testimonial post. Imagine that I wanted to turn this into a piece of content. Well, here's where awesome screenshot comes into play. It's a Google extension. Again, I'm just using the free version here. I'm going to click on the extension. And then in this case, I'm going to choose to screenshot a selected area from this page. So I'm going to choose selected area. And then awesome screenshot allows me to go grab this specific image right here. And then I'm gonna click on capture. And here's the neat thing is Awesome Screenshot gives you a lot of tools that you can use to really improve upon your screenshots. Well, in this case, what do I wanna highlight? What do I want my leads to see in order to help nurture them, prepare them to buy? Well, I wanna make sure that they see a million dollars in sales. So I'm gonna go grab this highlighter and I'm gonna highlight this, 9,000 members and a million in sales. Because one of the mistakes people do when they're posting testimonials is they'll post a screenshot like this that's not edited at all. And it makes it very difficult for your audience to pull out the key pieces of information. Yeah, they see this graph and they see a bunch of text. Who's gonna actually stop and read that? Very few leads, right? But now, 9,000 members, a million in sales. This stands out. Well, what else do I wanna really highlight here? I wanna highlight the growth of this Facebook group, reminding people that when you use Unipro, your audience is gonna grow. So I'm gonna go grab this arrow tool here and I'm just gonna build a big arrow that shows how quickly this Facebook group is growing. Cool, already this is standing out a lot more. 9,000 members, a million in sales. This group is growing so fast. And I might add one more thing here. I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm gonna turn the pen into red. And I'm just gonna say, 
wow to really highlight people's attention here bring it over here saying there is something cool over here this is worth reading and now you have a couple options you can either copy this image and that'll just copy it to your clipboard or you can actually go and download it just by clicking on download and i'm going to say this is a testimonial and I'll save that to my desktop. And that's all included in the free version of Awesome Screenshots, so you can really elevate your game when it comes to creating images for the content that your audience needs to see in order to nurture them so that they're ready to buy your course or your coaching program. Now, before I move on to step number three, which is actually selling your course or your coaching program, there's actually two more tools that I use to nurture leads. These are really important, so I wanna show you those before we move on. The first is a tool that allows you to nurture your leads by getting them into conversation. So I'm gonna show you an example of a post here that I made on my personal profile. It says, new Facebook strategy, how to nurture leads without DMs or booking sales calls. Anyone wanna see this? And you can see I got almost 350 people who commented on this. Well, a great strategy for you to nurture your leads so that they wanna buy is by showing them some attention. And so you can see over here, everyone who's commented, yes, I want this thing, I've personally responded to them. And you can see that I've liked their comment, I've tagged them in my comment reply, and then it says, sure thing, just sent you details over in Messenger. I also started up a messenger conversation. And this could be a whole lot of work to make sure that you're giving attention to everyone who engages on any of your posts. But I use a tool inside of Unipro that automates this for me. So let me just show you. I'm gonna go back over to Unipro here. And I'm gonna use one of the content tools. This one's called Prospect by Post. And it's really simple. All you do is put in the link to the post that you wanna automate. You tell Unipro, what would you like to say when you reply to people's comments? And then you tell Unipro, what would you like to say over in Messenger? So in this case, I'm sending people, it says, hi, first name, Unipro will insert the person's first name, and then it gives them details about this lead nurturing strategy that they've asked for. And you can see it sends them a link here that actually directs them over to my Facebook group. And this is really powerful because not only is this building up rapport, it's sending your leads over to a piece of content that's gonna help nurture them even further. And if they're not already a member of your Facebook group, in this case, I'm sending them to a piece of content inside a Facebook group. When they click on that link, if they're not a member, they're gonna be prompted to join the group. And so this is really cool because now they're gonna to request to join your group, which is gonna present your three membership questions to them. They're gonna be prompted to input their email address, which means now you have a new member of your Facebook group and you have a new subscriber to your email list. So all of this is not only nurturing your leads, it's also increasing the size of your audience. So that's just one more way that I use the tool Unipro to nurture leads to prepare them to buy, and you can do the same. There is one more step though that I use to nurture leads, and I'll show you right over here. I can go back over to Go High Level. You remember, Go High Level is the tool that we looked at a second ago that helps you manage all your email list subscribers. But like I said before, it does a whole lot more than just that. So in this case, it's actually built out a sales funnel, and this funnel only has two steps. I'm not actually selling anything through the sales funnel. I'm using it to nurture leads. Let me open up this funnel, and I'll show you the page that it takes me to. So it says book sales calls in six minutes or less. And it says get a messenger script that'll help you warm up new leads. It says this pre-sales process works for any online business, et cetera, et cetera. And then this allows leads to click on this where they can put in their name and email address. And then they're gonna receive this resource that's super high value. I put a lot of work into building this resource so that leads can request it, they gain access to it, they consume the resource, and now they're being nurtured even further. That rapport is being built. They're seeing my expertise. They're getting closer to making a purchase from me. And you can do this as well. You can build lead magnets inside Go High Level. I'm gonna show you something actually really neat. I'm gonna to go to the stats right here for that particular lead magnet. So you can see that this lead magnet had 390 unique people come over to that landing page that we just looked at a second ago. And this is awesome. Go High Level, it tracks how many people actually opted in. How many people saw that and said, yes, here's my email address. Yes, I want your piece of content. Yes, I wanna be nurtured even further, which is a huge number. It's really exciting because this tells me that if I send 100 people, 100 new leads, over to this landing page, 61 of them are gonna opt in. 61 of them are gonna give me their email address. 61 of them are gonna start consuming more of my content and they're gonna be nurtured even faster. So this is the last tool that I use to really nurture my audience. It's lead magnets and I use Go High Level to build and manage these lead magnets. So at this point, we've got a lot of exciting stuff happening. In phase number one, you've begun building your audience. You're growing your Facebook audience. You're growing your email list. In phase number two, you're coming up with unique content ideas and then you're building those into a content calendar so that you're consistently 
putting content in front of your leads to nurture those leads so that they move closer to making a purchase from you. Well, now in phase number three, we're gonna start making some sales. We're gonna sell your course or your coaching program. And there are just three tools that I use to do that. So the first tool is right here. You'll see this is a sales page or a sales funnel. And again, this is created over in Go High Level. So this particular sales page, it is for the Unipro software. If you go over to unipro.com, you can take a look at this sales page and the sales funnel. And as we scroll through here, you'll see there's all kinds of information presented about how this product is going to change online business owners business. It's going to get them more leads and make them more sales. And this is what you can do as well is you can build a landing page or a sales page for your course or your coaching program so that as you nurture leads and they start asking you about how you can help them, how you can help their life improve or their business grow, you can send them over to your sales page, the first page in your sales funnel. And as I mentioned, all of my sales pages, my sales funnels are built inside Go High Level. Now, before we move on from here, there's actually one more tool that I wanna mention, and that's this one right down here. You'll see this little pop-up in the bottom left-hand corner of this sales page. And again, you can check this out by going over to unipro.com. Here it is again, it says, Marco is using Unipro to get more clients, verified by Provely. Provely is a neat little app that plugs into your sales funnels that records all the sales that are made through that particular funnel. And then it displays those sales in this bottom corner here. Why would you wanna do this? Well, this is an example of social proof. When someone comes over to your sales funnel or your sales page, perhaps they don't know that much about you. Perhaps they haven't been nurtured that long of a time by your content. When they come over here, this reassures them saying that I'm not the only one who's looking at making a purchase. In fact, Dan just purchased this exact product or this exact service. I spent a lot of time testing all different ways to maximize the conversions of my sales funnels and Provely has really had a positive impact on that. I'll go over to Provely. You can check this out for yourself. Here's Provely's pricing. So there's a free option if you're not getting a lot of traffic to a particular sales page or sales funnel. And then the pricing goes up from there based on more and more traffic. I recommend that you test this for yourself. Like I said, when this was installed into the Unipro sales funnel that you just saw, sales conversions definitely picked up. So for us, it's a tiny investment to pay for a tool like this when the conversions clearly increased, but definitely test it for yourself. So let's go back over to the sales funnel. And when someone says, yes, Unipro looks awesome, I wanna make a purchase, they're gonna click on one of these buttons here and it's gonna take them over to the checkout page. Again, this is still created inside the Go High Level tool that we looked at earlier, but there is one more tool that we need to plug into this purchase page, this checkout page, and that's down here. When someone enters their credit card information or their, or their payment information, where does that go? Well, for us, we use Stripe to collect that payment information, to collect payment from clients, and to pay that money out into our business accounts. And I'll go over to Stripe so that you can see the pricing to use Stripe. Probably if you have an online business already, you're probably already using Stripe. You can see that the general fee for using Stripe is 2.9% of the transaction cost. So as an example, if you were selling a $1,000 course, you're gonna pay $29 as a transaction fee, plus 30 cents in addition to that. Now that's the Canadian price, depending on what country you're operating out of, that pricing might change, but roughly that's gonna be your pricing to use Stripe. Now some people will say, oh, Stripe charges so much to use its service. Yeah, perhaps we pay thousands and thousands of dollars in Stripe fees every single month. However, it makes our lives so much easier. It takes care of all of our transactions. It takes care of payments from all of our clients and it integrates seamlessly with Go High Level so that when we create purchase pages like this, again, this is a checkout page, it's so easy to integrate Stripe so that people can pay and then immediately get access to the thing that they purchase, which actually leads us to step number four in this process. Now that you've made sales, you need to actually deliver your course or deliver your coaching program. So I'm gonna walk you through the tools that I use to do that, to create courses or to create online coaching programs. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is actually a piece of hardware. I often get asked what sort of camera setup I use to record videos like this one or to record videos inside my coaching programs. And I'm actually gonna show you a neat trick that'll save you thousands of dollars from going out and purchasing an expensive camera. Here's what I use for the vast majority of my filming. This is actually from inside my Android phone. I use a Google Pixel, and you can see that I'm inside the USB preferences. To access your USB preferences, just plug your smartphone into your computer using a USB cable, and then go to your USB preferences, and you're gonna find this. It says use USB 4, and then you can transfer files, you could use it for tethering, et cetera, et cetera. But many phones now have this option, using your phone as a webcam. And the neat thing about this is your phone probably has an amazing camera. I know for me using a Google Pixel, Google Pixels have amazing cameras, so I don't need to go and purchase an expensive camera. 
I already have one and you likely do as well. So you can test this trick out and try using your smartphone as a camera that can help you record videos for your courses or your coaching programs. And when you're doing that, when you're recording, perhaps you want to be just a talking head. You want to just talk to the camera or maybe you want to have some visuals, some slides that go along with your presentations or your lessons within your course. For me, I use Canva to create all my presentation slides. So I'll show you an example here. Here's a presentation that I did recently and you can see I've got all my slides prepared in Canva. Canva's awesome. It's so easy to use and it's got so much versatility. For me, I'm going to go over to the plans and pricing and we can take a look at the pricing. I do use the pro version, so it's only $150 a year. The free version I find is quite good. However, it is limited in terms of the number of visuals that you have access to. Many of the better visuals in Canva you do need to pay for, which is why I do use the pro version. So I've got my Google Pixel recording me. That's my video camera. And then I use Canva to create slides for my presentations inside my courses or my coaching programs. Next, you're gonna to wanna to have some sort of editing software that allows you to edit together your courses to make them look professional. And I'll show you the one that I use. It's called Camtasia. And I use this, the just the Camtasia Essentials, and it's 200, about $250 a year. Why do I use Camtasia? There are a lot of free options out there when it comes to editing your videos. The reason why I use Camtasia is I've tested a lot of different editing softwares and I found this to be the best for recording your face while you present, plus what you're doing on your screen, so your monitor as well. It records both of those simultaneously, which makes it very easy to edit videos like this one you're watching right now. So I've been using Camtasia for years. I love it, but test it out for yourself. And then once you've actually recorded your videos, where are you gonna host those? So you need to give access to your paying clients to your course materials or to your program materials. Now, again, I do this through Go High Level, and you notice a theme here. I use Unipro and Go High Level a lot. Those are the two tools that I use most, hence why Go High Level is now bundled with Unipro. They're the most important tools. Let me show you over in Go High Level what I do in terms of hosting courses. So in Go High Level, you can create courses, and here's three examples of courses that I've created. Let's go take a look inside one of these courses. I'll click on the Unipro course here, and Go High Level will bring up the course. You can see that it allows you to create different topics within your course, and then create lessons within those topics. So let me open up a particular lesson here. Once you go into one of the lessons, you'll see that you can upload video content. So I've got an 11 minute video in this particular lesson, and you can see you can also include lesson notes as well as links to other resources. And this makes it very easy for your clients to systematically work through your course materials. I'll show you as a preview what this actually looks like once you've created a course in Go High Level. So here's the lesson that we just looked at. So there's the video, 11 minutes and 40 seconds. There are all the lesson notes as well as all the different resources. You can see that there are subsequent lessons that go under this topic. So this topic inside my course is all about building your audience. Here are the four lessons that a client can go through to learn all about building their audience. I'm gonna go back to the actual homepage for this course. And you can see here are all the different topics within the course. And then these open up to reveal the different lessons underneath those topics. You can also include these. These are little promotional banners, calls to action that can get your clients to take other actions when they're in your course. So as an example, in this case, we have a link to our affiliate program that allow clients to go over and join our affiliate program to start promoting Unipro and earning commissions by doing so. So you can see the Go High Level, it makes it really simple for you to host your courses so that your clients can have access. And again, all these features that I'm showing in Go High Level, these all come for free for all Unipro members. So if you are interested in using Unipro and Go High Level, you can go over to unipro.com and check that out. So now your clients have access to your course materials, but chances are if you wanna run a successful course or coaching program, Program, you're probably going to want to build a community so that all your clients can engage with one another. Now, I personally use private Facebook groups to run my client communities. And I know that there is a trend to use other platforms. There's a lot of different community platforms popping up, but I'll show you why I still use Facebook groups and I still actually think they're the best. First off, you can see that in this particular group, there's over 600 clients in this particular group, and there's all kinds of posts and engagement going on inside this group. I'll actually show you my stats here. So here are the stats for the last seven days. Like I showed you, this group has just over 600 clients in it and almost 400 of them are active. So about two thirds of the clients are engaging on the conversation that's happening inside that Facebook group. So Facebook is awesome because people are already on Facebook. You're already getting your leads from Facebook. So you know that those people are active Facebook users. So moving them into a Facebook group when they purchase your course or your coaching program, it just makes sense. What do they get in terms of actually belonging to the Facebook group? What happens in there? Well, it's a place for them to ask questions. It's a place for clients to support one another. So you can imagine that one of your new clients might ask a question that's been asked a dozen times before. Well, your older clients will jump in and support that new client, not only answering their question, but making them feel like they're part of the community. So it's an amazing place to give your clients a sense of belongingness 
and to answer questions quickly without relying on you, which is again why I love Facebook groups for building client communities. Now within a Facebook group, there is one last tool that we use to deliver our programs and that is Zoom. Let me show you over here. So here's an example. So Chris here, he's an amazing coach who takes care of our clients in our Unipro program. And you can see that he ran a Zoom coaching call. In fact, we run Zoom coaching calls for our Unipro clients every single Wednesday to answer all their questions and to make sure their businesses are moving forward. And you can see this call, as I mentioned, was hosted via Zoom. So we host a Zoom coaching call, our clients attend that coaching call, and then we broadcast that Zoom coaching call into our Facebook group so that clients who couldn't attend in real time, they can watch the replay and they can ask questions in the comment section so they can get follow-up responses and more information about any of the details that they missed when they didn't attend that coaching call. And so that's it. That's the last tool we use to deliver our coaching programs and online courses. And now you've seen it all. As a recap, we took a look at all the tools you need to build an audience. We looked at the tools you need to nurture that audience, then to make sales, to actually sell your coaching program or your course. And finally, we just covered the tools you need to deliver your coaching program or your course to your paying clients. And everything I just showed you, these are exactly the tools that I use, but by far the most important tool amongst them all is Unipro. And if you never checked out Unipro, you gotta check it out. It's an amazing tool. It goes out on a Facebook. It finds your ideal leads. It brings those leads over into your audience. It nurtures those leads, making sure they see your content. It strikes up conversations with those leads so that you can make them an offer at the time that they're most likely to buy from you. Unipro is amazing. It's been a game changer for my business. I know it will be for you as well. Go over to unipro.com. That's what I've got for you in this video, all about building and selling your online courses or coaching programs. If this was helpful, give this video a like. And if you have any comments or questions about any of the tools we covered today, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. I'm happy to help out. And again, if you're building your online business and you're using Facebook to do so, you really got to check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. You're going to love it. Thanks for checking out this video and I can't wait to see it in the next video.